tonight dear friends, tis the bewitching season of Halloween. In Torbay, council leader, Mrs. Precious Love, is fast running out, of the local council taxpayers' money. In sheer and utter desperation, she takes advantage of this sudden, big puff of wind, that blows her fluffiness into Old Wee Mansion, where she makes a proposition to her rival, the leader of the Conservative Party, Mrs. Tory Bay. Pray Mrs. Love, can't you see that I am engaged, entertaining our new Home Secretary, Miss Cruella Bravival? She has travelled all the way from Westminster in London, to visit the local party faithful. She doesn't warrant having to endure your inane wittering. I need to call in a favor, and I mean today. What on earth are you speaking about, Mrs. Love? May I say that your level of confusion increases by the hour? Have you managed to see a doctor yet? I could recommend one who visits Mount Stewart. Someone with your level of breeding could probably get away with paying him using an installment plan. We know that it's no longer just the rich who need to pay for their medical treatments. At the last election, we secured votes by promising to license private landlords. We scared you with our pledge to help the poor and force your landlord chums into providing decent and safe homes for people to live in. We sent shivers down your spine by wanting to tackle poverty. However, once we got the town hall keys, we were consumed by the wealth, lavishness, opulence, gold and grandeur of having entered town hall life. So, we turned our back on all the promises we made to get elected. So, what are you trying to say to me, Mrs. Love? And be quick about it, dear Miss Bravival, is desperate for me to prize open this casket, so she can meet the beloved Torbay Tori, who is at rest inside. Like us all, he is waiting patiently, for the election day in May, when the trumpet shall blast, and the faithful in their slumbers, will rise again, and return in triumph, with those like me, who have remained vigilant, to take our rightful place at the town hall. I will confess, that the taxpayers' money, started to burn a hole in my new and lavish, designer label pockets, and I decided to buy up half-redundant shopping malls, retail units, and pay for hotels to be built for big companies, who have enough cash of their own, and could pay for it themselves. I was soon courted by Devon Live, got referred to as Tabe's most important person, and went outdoors, parading with expensive gold finery, looked after by my private jeweler and a team of bodyguards. The wisest pals, that fools and their money are soon parted. No doubt, you are wanting a bailout from us. You might think like a conservative Mrs. Love, at a time when the opportunity for power happens to cross your path, but the truth still remains, conservatives are born, never made. Please be so kind, as not to make a mess, when you finally fall from that fluffy yellow cloud of yours. You knew the street cleaner is too expensive, for fiscally responsible conservatives to turn on. I really need a clear answer from you Mrs. Bay, not patronizing. That attitude is reserved, for all the negative people living around Melville Hill, like thorns in my flesh, such as Tracy Ireland. Are you prepared to bail liberal democracy out and provide the money for us to complete our building projects? We need at least eight million pounds. Let me think about it. You, liberal Democrats, never appreciate the importance of etiquette and knowing when the time is right to ask for money. I assume that you gave in to the airbashing of radical lefties that work in social care and handed out shed loads of money to Torbay's children's services just to improve their performance rating. I suppose I could start by introducing harsh cuts to them. That would help in some small way to begin compensating for your gross misdemeanors. So, you don't have an answer for me at the moment then? This really doesn't seem fair, after all liberal democracy has ended up saving you and yours from, over these past four years. I shall head back to the ivory tower on the breeze now, but please rest assured, I will still be blowing backwards and forwards waiting to hear from you. Cruella, please don't send emails to people about that conversation. I would advise keeping your mouth shut in front of Fishy Rishi too. I know without your influence with the hard right, he wouldn't have got the top job. But you must remain watertight. 
you won't come across any leaking Tories here. I know full well that Mrs. Love programmed the council's street cleaner to kill innocent people. I won't leak that information to anyone. There is a proper time and place for everything Cruella. Meanwhile, back in the ivory tower, high above Torquay Town. Monhita, I have just blown back from the most humiliating meeting at Oldway Mansion, and find you on the video phone to that stupid druggie in Melville Street. Tell her to keep staring at the beautiful mural I decreed should be painted there. Hopefully, it will cause her to start uttering some positive words. The mural is supposed to give meaning, even to all the drug-addled residents up there. It reminds me of those songs, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, and also Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. She wants you to know, that after your words of wisdom last week, she gazed into the mural and morphed into it. In fact, she turned into an octopus. A diver then appeared, and gave her a joint to smoke. The next thing she knew, she was back on her ex-boyfriend's sofa, at the Doss house in Melville Street. Water was dripping through the light fitting onto her head. That's because there is no glass left in the window, belonging to the room upstairs, and the downpours of rain caused a flood. Just forget her Monhita. You know, liberal democracy deserves far more honor and respect in Tabe. To prove that we are better than the Tories, you will spend all hallows in Roebuck, or as some call it Amityback House in Abbey Road. The Tories frequent their vaults beneath Torquay Town Hall to be with their sleeping and departed, yet they never go to Amityback. They seem to be afraid of supernatural forces there. You will show that liberal Democrats aren't the type to be scared of that. The last person to enter Amity Buck House on Abbey Road has never been seen again. They say she was called Muriel, and that all her clothes, police tag, and blankets still remain neatly folded against the blood stained walls. It is truly a cursed building. If I refuse to spend all Hallows night in Amity Buck, I fear I shall face the wrath of liberal democracy. If I go, then I could look squarely into the face of demons. On balance, I will be a lot safer, spending the night, with Beelzebub. A wise decision Monhita. I shall call Devon live for a front page spread. It will be a good piece of electioneering for us, and put the Tories firmly back in their cage, where they belong. News of Monjita's great bravery, or sheer and utter stupidity is spreading across Torquay Town. It even takes center stage in a conversation between Terry and Tracy Island, the true queen of Torquay Town center hearts. Should you be out in daylight hours my girl, you know that you are at the top of the Liberal Democrats hit list. I can't lead my life as a prisoner in the secret bunker Terry. I've been dying for a bottle of red all day long and had to sneak down to Carter's to get one. I think I'm managing to throw the yellow order off my scent by wearing these typical Torbay lines. I got the top at the British Heart Foundation and the hat from Sue Ryder in Union Street. I feel I blend in rather well and avoid detection. If you were to blend in with the majority of people up here Tracy, you'd need to be wearing a hoodie, appear emaciated and with a face resembling a corpse. Still, I dread to think what Monjita will look like, if she gets out of Amity Buck House on All Saints Day alive. Did you read in Devon Live, that she is spending All Hallows Eve night, in that most haunted building, to raise money for making Melville marvelous, and to try and convince voters, that the Lib Dems actually care? No good shall ever come of Amity Buck, Terry. The building should have been flattened after the mass shootings that took place there in the 70s, a month before the Amityville murders on Long Island. Auntie Joan, who is a Romany gypsy, says the ground roebuck, or Amitybuck as we call it, stands on, should be a memorial garden, to remember Torbay's victims of traumatic death. Then the ground will be cleansed. The troubled spirits that haunt the cursed building will find peace and justice. Don't you dare move your head Tracy, a yellow order van, has just slowed down and clocked us, 